I spent the last two days, like Hilda Ogden, doing cleaning. It's come up pretty well the engine bay now, and uh, just put a few little things right under the engine bay. But also, as you can probably see here, I repainted the front. That's all done now. Replaced the expansion tank with the Malawi one because that's the only one I had. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's a little bit stained, but it's uh, it holds pressure. That's good. Everything's cleaned up quite nice. Uh, you might notice here that I put the horn on the inside wing. Where is it? There. Look. I always like to do that. Then they don't get full of water. I don't know why they didn't do it from the factory. Well, some did. So, all nice and done at the front. Uh, what else have I got to report? The engine runs superb. Now, I could hear a knocking when I was driving it, but I don't think it's coming from there. Have a listen. Starts like that all the time. It could be a little bit advanced. Tiny bit advanced, and I wonder if that's it. I seem to remember I did a lot of work on this about five years ago. Um, there was a bad tappet on it. I seem to remember it was at the back. And um, I think somebody's done some work on it before because the little brass uh, lifter had broken, which I'd never seen before. But I think somebody, what somebody's done is where the lifter's got a little ball and socket, they put the push rod down the side. Easy done. Now, look at this. Not a bit of back pressure. Not a bit. Good there, isn't it? Now also, if you can listen, there's no screeching from the belt. You know, like the, the tensioner? Perfect. But one thing I want to show you is... Uh, oh, again, can I, can I zoom in from here? Yeah, there you go. Can you see, can you see the servo here? It's all rusty. I know what it is. It's brake fluid being sucked out of the, out the, master, cylinder, out the master cylinder and getting down the sides, if you see what I mean, which is not good. Um, but I'll show you a quick little test. I thought the servo, the, the vacuum pump, was on the fritz, but it isn't. Watch very carefully here, and watch what happens to the servo. If I pull this out, can you hear that? That's, that's pulling a good vacuum. And you may be able to observe here, the servo is actually pulling itself in with uh, air pressure. So that works, that is working fine. There's no problem with that. Yeah, watch this. See? Look. No problem with that. Wait till I tell the folks back home we've got a back pump that works. So now I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to show you something else. Well, on the last video we did, uh, a couple of days ago, People were moaning and groaning, saying it's got the wrong wheels on it. So I've done something about it. If you can remember, I had these bad boys on my Defender a few years ago. Never used them. Didn't, didn't put them on. So, do you think they look good? I do. Let's come back a bit and see both of them at the same time. Look at that. I'm sorry about the shed. It's going to be a nice day today, so I want to work in the shed a bit. And uh, Mark's in my garage using my shop, so... But they look good, don't they? So, the problem then arises... I've only got uh, three rim, uh, four rims, I need a fifth, because I've got a fifth tyre to match that. I think they're going to look, I think they're gonna look fantastic. Now, I was going to mount the tyre. Uh, Jerry, Jeremy lent me um, a Defender TD5 style tyre carrier, but it won't fit, you see, because it's a different door. Can you see there? Won't fit. So I'm going to get a swing away carrier, bugger it. But look how nice the door is inside. But somebody's made this god awful wheel carrier, look at that. 
So even if my wheel would fit on there, all the nuts are wrong. <laughs> so I don't want that. But that's a nice door, that's, that needs saving. It wants cleaning up, you know. And talking about cleaning up, uh, today's job, I think I'll just pull out all the interior as much as I can. Uh, I think I'll just wash off the floor, power wash off the floor. I did the chassis yesterday, you can see by the mud, and it's spotless, it's come up really well, but I'll show you that when I get it on the lift. But whilst I was washing it out, this horrid, horrid patch here, I looked at it from underneath and I don't know, I think it's just got a ding in here. <laughs> That's all. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to take that off. I'm encouraged to take that off. And I might even get a new corner because I might be able to bash that one out a bit, I don't know. Uh, might do. Once metal stretches like that, and they're, they're not expensive. I might just get one. But yeah, look, you see, the wheels look nice, don't they? I need to get some mud flaps for the front. Um, what else did I report? Oh, when I lifted it up to wash it underneath, naturally I took the wheels off, and the rotors at the front are really, really thin. The brakes work fine, but the rotors are thin, so I think a, a new set of uh, discs, rotors, whatever you want to call them, pads, and I might even treat myself to get um, a caliper repair kit and, do, and just do the lot. Bleed it through, job done. The axle is really clunky. And I think I know what it is. I think it's the sun and planet gears inside the diff needs new shims. I don't think these cars do much at all. You know, the roof lining's excellent. Look at that. It's been done, but it's been done nice. I, it, do you know something? I even think we did it. <laughs> me and Jim did it. A little bit puckery there, but it doesn't really matter. But I, yeah, well, I think me and Jim did this one. I'll have to have a look through my notes. Uh, the door card for the back is off a TD5. It won't fit this one. So all I'm going to do is make a standard door card. You can see I've gathered a lot of bits of old plastics together. And I'll, I'll just make it standard. I'll put it back to standard. That'll work. But one of the things I'm going to do just in a minute. I don't know if I'll film it or not. Well, I might just do. The... Uh, the binnacle support's got the obligatory crack in it down here. But I've got a spare one that Paul sent me across from the UK in metal. So I'm going to change that because this is bloody awful. Look at that here. Now, if you can see in here, it's got a, a light on an LED for the alarm, but it doesn't switch the car off. I've got a sneaking feeling. Somebody's bought, this must have an alarm system on it. I bet you it's got a 10AS alarm system and perhaps a spider. Um, because all the wires that go to the injector pump are black uh, for the immobiliser but I've noticed under the under the front wing there the sounder which had the battery pack in has been taken off so I think I might just put this back to standard and uh, you know whilst I'm under the dash and do it like that now one other thing the carpets in it are a bloody mess they're all sorts of bits and pieces uh, fortunately I have a set of black in the container I'll take them all off you know I'll take all this lot off clean all the floor up you know when they painted it they really went to town because they painted over the uh, bolt heads here so they must have done something inside I don't know but the seats are in a fantastic condition look at that they're beautiful I mean apart from wet dogs being in here at the back it's not bad they've painted the um, the trims, let's have a look from this side, see if you can see with a better light. Maybe you can see it. Uh, they've painted these trims in a light colour. Um, I'm not too happy about that. I might just pull them off and repaint them again. And that'll give me a chance to do something around here, look. See, it's all a bit shabby. Yeah, it's not too bad. I wonder if the, I wonder if the side windows will open. Probably not. Hmm. That's unusual. Oh, they've got to take that box out. Mark wants that box, they can have it. No, it's not too bad. It's quite good for 25 years old. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're up to today. I'll, uh, I'll pull that dash out, and if there's anything to report, I'll let you know. But apart from that, I'm not touching anything else. I'm just going to clean up the paint and the chassis. When I, when I get it on the lift to do the brakes, I'll show you the chassis. and It, it, it really doesn't look 25 years old at all. Alright, so I hope you liked that. That was just a little walk around and we'll see you later.